Morning guys, what's going on? It is like 9 o'clock, March 13th-ish. And we got some hot plastics, some more plastic heating up, cleaned up the bench a little bit, swim baits, Senkos, and probably some uh, uh, harvester grubs there today. Another big stock day. Um, just been so busy with plowing and working over at the state there getting called in all the time i haven't had the ambition to come out here and make ridiculous numbers of baits like i need to be so today is going to be one of them days i'm going to do as many as i can in five six hours probably and see where that gets me uh we're going to do some black and blue flake senkos and some like a pearl white color the sister we just call it albino i think on the uh on the website so just our standard white swim baits uh, probably gonna do some alewife ones too not really sure on that but probably probably gonna do some alewife ones uh, but anyways i'm gonna quit rambling and get the bait making get this sucker set up perfect all right so we got three cups of hot plastic here. Make sure if you're going to hold the cup, you got your glove on. Uh, you want to make sure you're being safe doing all this stuff. Um, or at least if it's hot anyways. Uh, you'll see me use uh, do a lot of this without a glove. That's just because I'm stubborn, I guess, and I'm asking to get hurt. But I'm going to try my hardest from now on to start using all my safety stuff. I do have vent fans up there on the windows. Um, this stuff does put out some kind of nasty fumes you just want to make sure you're getting good ventilation all the time so anyways i'm going to go ahead and stir this up a little bit get some black colorant here this is uh there's no numbers on it it's just uh lure craft black give her a good shake there go ahead and toss that in there about 30 drops or so and then we're going to go ahead and put some of this lure craft 3.5 hex glitter in there ballpark in you about a uh, quarter tablespoon or a quarter, quarter teaspoon sorry quarter teaspoon um, maybe like I don't know a third of a teaspoon something like that Go ahead and get this bad boy stirred up. It's not looking terrible. Now we need to throw some salt in there. Go ahead and get our Fine Flake Lure Works, or uh, this is Lure Craft Salt here. Three cups of plastic. And do a third cup measuring cup here. I think that's going to be good for that one. I got a little bit less than three cups of plastic, so I don't want to put an extra little scoop in there. Get that salt stirred into there. That looks pretty good. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. It's, uh, pretty good ratio there on uh, flake to color. We're gonna go ahead and put this guy up here now. You can kind of see the whole process there. So uh, yeah, so I got three molds in the vise and then injector right here um, this is already lubed up with some worm oil uh, I, I would have the fourth mold in the vise but I can't I can't get it all with the one in there. so uh, yeah I'll go ahead and shoot these up I'm just gonna put this down here 
get that salt stirred up a little bit. Draw up. Push out any air that's in there because it looked like I had a little bit of bubbles in this when I heated it up. Dry that up again nice and slow. And just hold steady pressure. Make sure I get all the air out of the mold. Don't want anything trapped in there. There. One more time. Go ahead and top my sprues off here with my extra. Go ahead and pop this right back in the microwave here and swap it for our swim baits. Blend. Get that in there a little bit. I uh, probably should clean that off a little bit. Now this is uh, this is dead on floating worm, but worm blend isn't really tough enough for them swim baits. The pike kind of tear them up pretty bad, uh, I guess obviously, but the bass even like rip them up pretty good. So I've got like I don't know, a tablespoon of hardener in there, nothing crazy, but there is there is hardener in this. Just so you guys know, well, I guess I better pull that out. That guy out. This guy's got to go back in there for maybe another minute, minute and a half. Pop these molds out. Let's see how they turned out. And they look pretty good there. Hopefully that will focus without my face being in there. They uh yeah. They look like black and blue Sankos. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these undone. Um and I'm just gonna crank out a bunch of these. Uh and then once I get to the point where that plastic for my swim bait is ready to go, I'll catch back up with you. And we'll, uh, we'll make that for a white color. Alright, so this is our three cups of dead on floating with hardener in it. So it's probably the equivalent of swim bait jerk bait, I would guess. I don't know, maybe craw too, but. It's a little bit tougher, uh, nothing crazy, but it is tougher. All right, so we're gonna add to this, we're gonna go ahead and put some Lureworks White to thicken it up. That's White 104. And then some Pearl White in there. We're gonna get quite a bit of it in there because I want this bait to be very opaque. It's probably something like that. I'm going to go ahead and stir that in there like so. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I got some shimmer to it there as it runs off the knife. And that's what I'm looking for right there. So now, now that that looks pretty good, I guess, we're going to come from right up here. And we're going to go ahead and shoot uh, our swim bait. So guys, it's our four inch gator shad. It's a epic bait molds. It's an epic bait mold slick swim. Just a, like a ribbing addition to it. it. I don't know, it's like an extra hundred bucks or whatever. But it's, it's totally worth it. They dig that rib. Um, yeah, I'll actually uh, 
I'll actually probably leave a link in the bio. For the most part, I usually leave his link in my bio. I'm not positive if I did in the last video or not, but I try to, but I don't ever say it. So nobody ever knows to look in the bio. But I'll have the link for these in the bio. Okay, that's enough. Time to make some baits. I gotta move this injector up a little bit here. Okay. Safety glove on. Get this right down in here. Draw up. Push your air back out. Draw up again. Gonna swirl that off there a little bit like so. And I'm just gonna make sure I'm holding steady pressure. And when I inject the swim bait mold, I'm injecting it significantly slower than I inject the other molds. I'm holding pressure for a lot longer. Because with that head coming up and then grouping back down into a point, uh, I don't think I have one sitting right here, but anyways, the head is, is wide and then it narrows down at the neck where the sprue meets. There tends to get some, there tends to be air bubbles trapped in there. And I don't know if I'm just messing something up or if I need to run this stuff through a vacuum chamber or whatever, but the only way around that seems to be going a little bit slower, which is like, whatever, no big deal. It takes a tiny little bit longer to shoot here, whatever this is, 12 volt. Um, but just make sure you do that. And I, I would I would have to believe that like little ripper molds and whatever the hell else you're doing probably are, uh, probably are very similar to that. Um, so just make sure that that you're taking your time because it's not I mean, it's not so much big a deal with this But like if you're shooting a laminated bait and you mess it up I mean you can't remelt that so um, And especially if this is being done on like a home Scale or like, you know, just a personal level and you're not doing it to make any money and you're not seeing any like revenue from this Like it's just a huge waste of plastic if you're gonna laminate them um, I Forget what that mold I did. I used to have them Another swim bait one, but I can't remember what that one was. But I used to have another one that did that too. Good thing about these though is they don't draw enough plastic. You don't have to top the sprue off at all. I have never topped one of these off, and I've never had them draw any more than that right there. I don't know if you can see that. It takes a little dimple. And that's it. It's all these things draw for sprue, which is super nice. Uh, it does kind of save you a little bit of plastic, and the mold does cool down a little bit faster. So I'm going to go ahead and crack these guys open. They're already done. It's an epic bait mold. Of course, it cools down fast. And there you go. As usual, they all come out real good. A little soft, but there you have it. And these are slotted as well. I don't know if I can get my fingers in there. It's a little bit soft yet, but uh, there. You can kind of see it there. They are hook slotted, four inches long, and the ribbing is totally awesome. And they also do engravings too. Boy, white bait is going to be hard to see that. I don't know if I can even make it show up, but there is a DRC right there on the cheekbone. Really tough to see. Right there. Bingo. DRC on the cheekbone. They did a super awesome job on these molds. All right, so I got two cups of plastic in each one of these already heated up. Uh, 
this is both these both of these are floating blend with hardener because we're gonna do swim baits in the ale wave color because I think I've got like three bags left or something and I know if I don't make it today somebody's gonna buy three bags and I'm gonna be out. So this is gonna be our top. This is gonna be our bottom for the top. We're gonna grab some dead-on Paragon uh, mine dust here. Go ahead and get that. Give a healthy dose of that in there. And then we're gonna grab. Oh, where are you? Some black 1.5 hex cut flake. And oh, about a quarter teaspoon of that. Some silver 1.5 hex cut flake. Same thing, probably about a quarter teaspoon of that. Some of this 1.5 gunmetal. It's just like a, uh, it's like a gray, pretty much. And we'll do about uh, probably an eighth of a teaspoon of that. Pretty little measurement there. I'll go ahead and get this all mixed up here. Yeah, I'd say that looks pretty good there. Then we're going to go ahead and get our bottom ready. We're going to take a little bit of white here. Get some of that in there. Just a couple drops. Get this knife cleaned up here a little bit. That should give us like a white stain to it. Take our, uh, where'd you go? Pearl white here. Get some of that in there. Just a little bit, nothing crazy. And we're gonna go ahead and hit it with some of our, where are you? A little bit of our blue highlight here. Just a fuzz. And we'll stir this in and see what that looks like. I think we might need to go a little heavier on the white. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's got a pretty good uh, sheen to it there. Okay, so we got those mixed up. We're ready to shoot. This is going to be a little bit different than the one that's on the website. I got to change the picture yet. I wanted to kind of, I don't know, I had this epiphany with the whole highlight powder thing. And I think this color is going to be a much more accurate representation of what an alewife looks like basically or, or bait fish patterns i want to try to remove that like heavy white laminate that i had going last year i don't really feel like that was doing me much justice so we're gonna shoot this we'll see how it goes and uh yeah hopefully you guys like it i'll probably update the website tomorrow but yeah Make sure you're doing steady pressure. 
make sure you keep them air bubbles at a minimum. Um, injecting it a little bit slower than you would a normal mold. Just anything you can do to help out. To give yourself a better quality bait, the better off you are. Can I already tell you I didn't like the way it looks just because I can see it on the sprue. This is uh, this is going to be a darn good color right here. Uh, and there we go. I don't know if that last one quite made it or not, but we'll see how it works. Okay, these guys are ready to crack open. Yeah, I like that significantly better than with the white bottom. It's just like a really clear, kind of opaque looking bottom. Oh, we'll get my face out of there, I guess. Clear, kind of opaque looking bottom. All right, they look good. I'm gonna crank out a bunch of these, probably throw you on time lapse again. Uh, Okay, so I uh, had something come up, so I gotta get out of the shop, but this is what we ended up with here. We got, so probably 15, 20 bags worth of our albino, and then our new gator shed, and uh, the uh, alewife color there. I like that significantly more without that white belly. You can see that hook slot in there too with the with this color you can see that shape right there so that turned out really good super pumped about that probably gonna ditch super shad so if anybody wants that that'll probably be on sale soon and then our uh you know black and blue sankos can't really uh can't really mess them up uh and i did sneak some chartreuse and white harvester grubs those will go up on the website probably sunday too because uh, that's i mean that's just a that's just a killer crappy color so you can't can't go without it all right i'm a piece out of here uh thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe it means a lot to me we're almost at 100 subs already can't believe it uh so at 100 subs will be another giveaway not sure what i'm gonna do yet probably something with uh with some panfish baits and some swim baits because shortly it'll be time here anyways locally to get after the uh, perch crappies while I'm bike um, when that may bike comes around so yeah really appreciate it link is going to be in the description for all of my molds uh, everything I run is epic bait molds so uh, that'll all be there I can also link all of my uh, glitters and colorants and everything else uh, plastic too even though I'm shortly gonna be switching to bait plastics from dead on but I've got a handful of buckets left over so um, yeah so also don't forget to leave something in the comments for me tell me what you want to see next do i need to get an open pour mold do i need to start cranking out some of these giant swim baits i'm seeing all over the place they seem to be pretty popular uh, i don't foresee them taking off in my area but that doesn't mean that you guys don't want to see it i want to do what you guys want to see so yeah thanks for watching again can't thank you guys enough for liking and subscribing it means the world to me have a good one